If you have been diagnosed with knee arthritis, your doctor probably told you to go and do some exercises. Today I'll show you the exercise that I recommend to my patients with knee arthritis. The type of exercises are lubrication, aerobics, weight bearing, and stretching, which can be remembered as LALWS or LOSS. I'll show you 20 LOSS exercises specifically for the knees. So let's talk about LOSS exercise for the knees today. I like to explain to my patients why the loss exercises are important. I believe that if the patient understands why they are doing each exercise, it will be easier for them to adhere to this routine and enjoy doing them. I explain the loss exercise in more details in another video that I did of exercise for hip and knee arthritis. I will repeat here some content in case you have not seen the other video. In this video, I will focus only on exercises for the knees. Lubrication is important because the joint produces a liquid called synovial fluid. The fluid is produced when we move the joint and put weight on it. The synovial fluid provides nutrition to the cartilage. The cartilage is a thin layer that covers the bones to form a slippery surface, so the bones will absorb the shock and will move smoothly by reducing friction. Lubrication is important, especially in the morning. Many of my patients have morning stiffness, and this is because at night they don't move the joints, and then there is not a lot of production of synovial fluid. So the fluid tends to thicken. This is what causes stiff and creaky joints. I have another video about morning stiffness of the hands. Watch it here if you also have hand arthritis. Look at this crystallized honey. Imagine that the synovial fluid is like this. If we warm it a bit and mix with a spoon, the honey will become liquid and smooth again. Also, the more we move the joint and put weight on it, it's like producing more honey. Remember, motion is lotion. So, I recommend you to do lubrication exercises in the morning, before you get out of bed. This will help to warm up the joint, to improve the range of motion, to break down any thickness of the synovial fluid. And the other exercises are aerobics, weight bearing and stretching. You can do them during the day. Aerobic exercises are important to maintain a good cardiovascular system. Aerobic exercises are any type of exercises that increase your heart rate and respiratory rate. <sighs> this may include walking briskly, dancing, biking, swimming. Make sure you talk to your doctor to ensure that you don't have any restriction for this activity. Weight bearing exercises are extremely important for people with OA. Weight bearing exercises are excellent to maintain the balance. This is especially important since many knee osteoarthritis start with a fall or injury that could have been prevented by good balance. The main advantages of weight bearing exercises is that they reduce pain in the joint and they also help to maintain the calcium in the bones, especially important for people who also have osteoporosis. It is very common that people will have these two conditions, OA and OP. You may want to watch another video that I made about osteoporosis. The S in loss is stretching. Stretching is important to maintain flexibility, to maintain a good range of motion in the joints that have osteoarthritis. When people have joint pain, they tend to protect the joint and use it less and less then the muscles get shortened and stiff. The tendons, ligaments and joint capsules are all getting very tight, so it's important to do gentle stretchings of the structures around the joint. At the end of this video, I will explain seven situations where you should avoid doing these loss exercises. I will show you exercises that you can do in bed, sitting in a chair, lying down on a mat, standing up and using a staircase. So let's start. So this is exercise number one for the knee pain and you can do this in the morning before you get up from bed 
it's the L exercise for lubrication of the knee. So if you have knee pain and you have morning stiffness of the knees, morning stiffness is when the synovial fluid is sticky and you have difficulty to do movements of the knee, this is morning stiffness. And if the morning stiffness lasts a few minutes, up to 30 minutes, it's usually osteoarthritis. But if morning stiffness lasts more than 60 minutes and also affects the hands, wrists, and ankles, this might be rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, or ankylosing spondylitis. And those are serious, severe rheumatological diseases, and you need to talk to your doctor about those because they have treatment. There are specific medications for this. And don't forget to drink your water. Also, lots of water is good for the synovial fluid. Remember, motion is lotion, so we're going to do this exercise. And I have this water bag now that reminds you, motion is lotion for you to drink your water. It comes with my signature here, and you can purchase this in the link below this video. So let's do the first exercise. It's motion is lotion, and we're going to do flexion extension of the knee. So extension and flexion. We are going to do this eight repetitions. So when you do the flexion of the knee, you can pull a little bit. Ideally, the ankle would touch here in the back. And then when you extend the knee, make sure that it's a straight line and you can help with your hands. Pull a little bit here. So you are also stretching the hamstrings. If you point your toes towards your nose, you're also stretching the gastrocnemius muscle here. So you do this eight times and then you can repeat 12, 15 or 20 times if you want. So do this in the morning and don't forget to do with the other leg. So pull backwards to do a full flexion. Extend, extend the knee fully, straight line. Pull the toes towards your nose and you do this eight repetitions with the other leg as well. So you're doing motion of the knee, lubrication, moving the synovial fluid inside of your knee before you get up from bed in the morning. Eight, 12, 15, and then 20 repetitions. You can start increasing as this exercise become easier for you. The exercise number two is squatting on the wall. So we're going to squat on the wall and this is a weight bearing exercise so that's the w in the loss exercise and anywhere you find a wall or a door you can do this exercise and um, it's good for strengthening of the quadriceps muscles all the muscles around the knee to stabilize the knee and you can start by doing this five seconds and then progressively increase to 10, 20 or 30 seconds if you can. The more you do, the better you get at doing this and you'll be able to stay longer doing this exercise. So what you have to do is find a wall, see if possible, adjust your posture here, touching the back of your head on the wall, your shoulder blades, your buttock area here touching the wall, keep about one, one foot away, your, your feet keep the distance here about 30 centimeters or one foot from the wall. The toes pointing towards uh, you here and then you just go down, slide down. The, the more you bend, the better. And then you just, you can do this for your arms too. You can stay like this or you can just relax your arms. And you stay here and you count to 5, 10, 20 seconds. The more you do this, you get better and you'll be able to tolerate this longer and longer. So the longer you stay here, you see you are contracting the quadriceps, which is an excellent muscle. It's a very strong muscle that stabilizes the knee and you need to do this because if you don't have strength of the quadriceps, you may fall, you may get tired when you go up and down stairs. And so this is exercise number two, squatting on the wall. So this next exercise is the same squatting on the wall, but now we are going to do with some resistance. And I'm going to use this resistance loop bands. And I bought these ones that they come from uh, different strengths. So this is a extra light, light, medium, heavy and extra heavy. So you can progress 
starting with the extra light. And then as this becomes easy, you can start doing with the other ones progressively. You can also use these bands for all the exercise of your arms and um, hands. And this is very easy. So you put around your knees and uh, you're going to do the same squatting on the wall that we did before, but now, because now you're going to keep your knees open and against resistance, you're going to do also exercise for the muscles on this outside of the knee, not only the quadriceps that is in front of the knee. So when you go down, 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 down. So here, keep your knees open and stay here for five seconds, 10, and then you progress to 10, 20, 30 seconds. And you also progress on the strength of the resistance loop bends. The next exercise is the lunges. And the lunges are, I, I'm going to demonstrate to you two types. One is the easiest way that you go backwards and the other one is the hardest way that you walk um, in front and you go down. And uh, the lunges exercise is a great exercise for lubrication. So it's a lubrication exercise for the knee. It's also weight bearing and it's also aerobics if you start walking and accelerate your heart rate. So grab a place, go to a place that you have something for you to hold on. It can be on the wall so then you don't lose your balance. So let's start doing lunges for this knee here. So what we do is we go backwards, backwards. The farther you go, the best. And now you lower and stay there. So you are going to do exercise for this, the left one. And when you do this, I don't want you to go forward. I want you to stay here so your knee is aligned with your ankle and you come up. You can repeat this eight times for each knee, for each side. And uh, this is the, the easiest one because you just go backwards. Let's do for the right side. Here it is the right knee and you go backwards, go backwards, backwards, and just go down and up, down and up. Okay. Now the other way of doing lunges is walking forward. So what you can do is you give a big stride here and then you go down. Then another big one, go down, and another big one, and go down. Then you can come back and do this like eight repetitions, increase to 12, like one, two, three, and keep doing for eight, so one, two, three, four, until eight, and then you can repeat to 12 or 15 or 20. So this is the lunges for the knees exercise. So the next exercise is for flexion extension of the knee, but sitting on a chair. And it's really important that because this routine is a lot of exercises and you may get thirsty, so it's really important that you drink water while you're doing this routine. For this exercise, you can also use a ankle weight. I like to put ankle weights because then you're going to do more resistance exercise. So these ones, they are 1.1 kilograms or 2.5 pounds. And I'll put the link in the description of this video below if you want to purchase ankle weights. And uh, you can do all the exercises in this routine with ankle weights because then you're going just to increase the resistance of all the exercises you will be doing. But you can progress. So you start doing this routine exercise without ankle weights and then after you start. So this is again exercise for the quadriceps, but this is sitting on a chair. So it's more comfortable. It's the same that we did for in the bed that when we were doing flexion extension, but now here is in the chair. So you can find a chair uh, at your, anywhere in your home or even when you are in places that have a chair and you can just do this exercise. So straight here and bend. Straight and bend. Extension and flexion. Extension and flexion. Extend 
and bend, straight and bend. So do eight times for each side. And you can also repeat to 12, 15 and 20 repetitions each side. And by doing this, and you can also increase the resistance. If you buy ankle weights that you can put more weights on them, you can increase the resistance of the ankle weights. So this is excellent for a strengthening of the quadriceps because quadriceps muscle, this one here, is very important for your balance, for the stability of the knee. It has four heads, that's quadriceps. Quadri means four heads. So all the four heads of the quadriceps help to stabilize the knee. So the next exercise is a knee flexion exercise. This is a Mackenzie exercise. And what you're going to do is in a chair, you're going to pull your ankle towards your buttock area here. And ideally you have to touch here. And if this is causing pain or too much pressure on your knee, you can apply a towel behind the knee here and do this exercise with a towel here and try to pull the ankle backwards do for one leg and you can hold this for five ten seconds and then do for the other one without the towel pull 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 or you can put the towel behind the knee to reduce the pressure behind the knee so this is a Mackenzie exercise for knee flexion. This next exercise, you need a chair, a sturdy chair and uh, one that doesn't have wheels. So you're not going to fall and lose your balance. You may attach ankle weights to your ankles and you're going to hold on the back of the chair. And what you're going to do is we're going to bend backwards. And so this is strengthening the muscles on the back of your thigh, the hamstrings muscles, the biceps, semitendinosus, semimembranosus muscles. And you're going to do this. And also you can do a stretch for the quadriceps because the quadriceps is here in the front, right? And if you hold your ankle and pull backwards like this, you're going to feel the stretch here at the front. So use this position to stretch the quadriceps, but also do eight repetitions to strengthen the back of your thigh muscles. So eight, and you can increase to 12, 20 repetitions each side. And don't forget to do for the other side as well. So you do this exercise and you can do this, you know, in your kitchen, in the countertop, you don't need to have a special routine to do this exercise. Everywhere where you have a sturdy chair, you can just stop there any time of the day and do your 8, 12, 20 repetitions each side. It's better if you attach ankle weights because then when you are raising this, you are putting more resistance and you are raising against, the gra against gravity but also against um, the weight that is pulling your ankles down. So the more weight you put on your ankles, the better is this exercise. But don't forget at the end, just to pull, to stretch the quadriceps muscle. Pull and you'll be stretching the quadriceps. So this next exercise, you need a sturdy chair because we're going to stand and sit, stand and sit. And uh, there is the easy way of doing this is if you sit on the edge, and just go a little up and down, stand and sit. Now, if you wanna make it harder, you go backwards in the chair and then you do a full stand and sit. Stand and sit. And I'm holding my arms up so then you can also strengthen your arms, a little bit of resistance for the arms. But if you don't want to use the arms, you can do this. As long as you're not using your arms to help your legs. So I don't want you to do this because then your arms will be doing some of the work of the muscles around the knee. I want you to use the knee muscles. So just go stand and sit. So you can repeat this eight times, 12, 20 times, once a day. 
This will be excellent for strengthening the muscles around your knees. For people who have patellofemoral syndrome, I have another video that I talk specifically about patellofemoral syndrome and IT band pain. But people who have patellofemoral syndrome, they usually have pain in front of the knee. And uh, for this exercise, I like to do using weights. So again, ankle weights. So what you do is, you're going to do flexion extension, similar to what we did before, like we did the full range of flexion extension. For this one here, if, you, if your pain is mostly in the front of the knee, I want you to do mostly, you can do this exercise, the full range, but I also want you to do in the last 30 degrees here. So this is ex exercise that is important for the vastus medialis oblique muscle, which is one of the heads of the quadriceps. And when you do this in the last 30 degrees, you are strengthening the muscle in the middle of your thigh, and it's going to pull the patella inwards inside of the knee and alleviate the pressure of the patella on the femur, which is the patellofemoral syndrome. So you can do these repetitions, and you can do for both knees. You don't need to do it for the one that is hurting. Even if the other one is not hurting, do this exercise for both because I always like to do the same exercise symmetrically, the right and left side of the body. So for this exercise, if you have stairs at home, you have a great exercise routine that you can do for your knee pain, for knee arthritis. The first exercise we're going to do is going stepping up. If you don't have stairs, you can buy a step and go up and down. I will put the link for you if you wanna buy those steps. You can buy in the link that I'll put in the description of this video. But if you have stairs, you can do this. So I want you to do one step. You're going to do with the right leg first. So you go right and then down. So right up, right down, right up, right down. So this is exercise mainly for the right leg. Okay, so right and right right and right. And you do this 20 times. So one, two, three, four, and you keep doing this. You can start with eight and then increase to 12 and increase to 20 and then repeat with the other leg. So now you're going to do with the left leg. Left, up, left, down. Left, left left, left, left one, left two, left three, left four, left five and eight and 12 and 20. So then the other exercise is the same thing that we did going up, but we're going to do this sideways. So you're going to do right, up, right two, right two, three, right four, right five, six, seven, and then you keep doing eight, 12 and 20, you increase, and then you're going to turn and you're going to do the same thing for the left. So left one, two, three, four, and then you increase to 12. You do start with eight, increase to 12, and increase to 20. So this exercise is going down, because when you go down, you go down on your right leg, look what the left has to do. The left quadriceps has to stabilize the whole body weight when your right one is going down. So actually, when you are going downstairs, and you're going on the right, you're doing exercise for the left, okay? So we're going to do now going down. So right, down, right, down, three, four, and do eight, 12, 20 repetitions. Make sure that you have railings. If you lose your balance, you always have railings. And don't forget, now we have to do for the exercise for the right quadriceps. So we are going to go down on the left. So left, down, left, down, three, four, 
five, six, and then you increase to eight. Start with eight and then increase to 12 and 20 repetitions. Okay, so for this exercise, this is the wall slide. You are going to lie down on a mat and uh, try to bring your uh, buttocks close to the wall, the closest that you can bring, the better. And what you're going to do is, because this, you're going to go against gravity. So gravity is pulling your knee down and you're going to go up, sliding on the wall and coming down. So you do this with one leg and do with the other one and the other one. If this is too hard, you can come backwards and keep some distance from the wall and just use the gravity here to slide up and down. Because some people are so weak, the muscles of the knee are so weak that this is hard for them to do, but you can use the wall as a guide here and just slide on the wall and you'll be doing this gravity assisted sliding <clears throat> exercise on the wall for your knees. And you can repeat this eight times for each side and we increase to 12 or 20. For this next exercise, we're going to do an amat. It's called short arc. So you need a towel or a foam roller. Let's start with the towel. You put under your knee. And what you do is you're going to press against the towel. This is the short arc. Just do this a couple of repetitions, eight, 10, 12, 20 repetitions. You do this for the other side. This is called the short arc. If, you, if this is easy for you and you want to do the short arc, it's better to do with the ankle weights to make a little bit harder and increase the resistance. So here it is. And here you can hold, hold for a couple of seconds, maybe 10 seconds. You see the quadriceps is contracting here. This is an isometric exercise. And you can do also with a foam roller under your knee. So here. This is the short arc exercise. It is also important to stretch the hamstrings and my hamstrings are always very tight because I sit a lot on the computer and uh, I need to do this exercise myself. I will demonstrate this exercise two different ways. So the first one is you can sit on a mat and just try to go down here and don't do like what I'm doing, like raising your knees. Just go try to do this. You can do one leg at a time, so you bend one and do with the other one. So you feel all these muscles here behind the knee, stretching and very tight. Mine are super tight. You see, I can't even, sometimes I can't even touch my toes there. It's important to do some warm up before you do stretching. So the tendons will be warmed up. It's like a, it's like an elastic band, right? If the elastic band is too cold, you may break it if you try to stretch it. But if you warm up, it's easy to warm up an elastic band that is uh, warmer. So do the warming up exercise before you start stretching. And go down, down, down. So this is strength, this is stretchy of the hamstrings and gastrocnemius too, because gastrocnemius is, are the muscles behind the, the leg and the hamstrings are behind the thigh. And here you're stretching both. And both are important because they cross the knee behind the knee here. And this is sitting. And I usually don't recommend doing this sitting if the person has back problems like low back pain. So if the person has low back pain, I recommend them to do these exercises lying down in a mat, 
because here you're going to keep your lower back the small of the spine you're going to keep it here and you're not going to move your spine you're only going to move the leg so here you will do the same exercise and you can pull toward keep the other one bent and stretch one at a time and you can pull it here you can also use a towel or your bed sheet to pull down here so this you can use this way you can do like this and now you pull towards yourself and you'll be stretching all these tendons behind the knee and so you do this and pull so you see your spine your lumbar spine is not moving like the other exercise that you were doing sitting on the mat so this next exercise is stretching of the quadriceps it's the same exercise that we did with the chair, but now we're going to do on the mat. And um, the idea here is for you to grab your foot here and the ankle touching the buttock area. So if you can do this and touch, then you are very stretched. I'm a little tight here and uh, I can feel the muscle stretching here at the front. So you grab here your foot and pull backwards and hold here for 10 seconds. And hold, hold, hold. And release. And don't forget to do for the other side. And breathe while you're holding, holding, holding. 10 seconds. And relax and you can do three times for each side and this is stretching for the quadriceps muscle here in front of the thigh so now we're going to do some walking exercises more for balance it's really important because the knees have proprioception and um, when people have poor proprioception proprioception is the sensations of the position of the knee when they don't have proper proprioception, they may fall and people are at risk of falling if they have knee pain, knee arthritis, because they don't have proper proprioception. And people who have knee pain, they tend to not do this exercise because sometimes it hurts, but then it puts them at higher risk of falling. So these are four exercises for improving balance and it's really easy what you're going to do is the first one is walking in tendon so you're going to put one foot in front of the other one so the toes touching the heels so you can be close to a wall or a chair and when you walk like this just touch your toes touching the heels and then go like this so you are improving the proprioception of your ankles and knees and that will improve the this is a weight bearing exercise as well so you're putting weight on your bones which is excellent because weight bearing exercises are good to put calcium on the bones and improve osteoporosis so this is the tendon exercise for balance and weight bearing for knees and ankles too the next exercise for balance is walking backwards and it seems simple, but it's not. So make sure that you have a wall if you need to lean on the wall, if you're going to lose your balance and um, do this slowly. A lot of people fall and break a hip or femur because they were going backwards and they lost their balance. So it's really important that you practice this at home and again, Make sure that you have something to lean on if you feel you're losing your balance because you need the proprioception inside of your knees and ankles and hip to show which position your body is. And going backwards is not easy, but it's really important for proprioception and uh, it's an excellent exercise to train proprioception inside of the knee. The other exercise is walking on your tippy toes. Make sure you are doing this close to a wall. If you lose your balance, you can lean on the wall. And 
It's important because when you walk on your tippy toes, your knees need to feel the proprioception. So you are training proprioception of your foot, ankle, and knees, and hip. And this is important because a lot of people lose their balance when they are, you know, sometimes you need to go on your tippy toes to do something, to grab something on a shelf. And when they do this, if they didn't practice uh, this exercise, they may lose their balance and fall. So the knees are very important for proprioception and balance. So you need to practice. This is the tippy toes practice like a ballerina. So the other exercise is walking on your heels. And you can also do this close to a wall. So then if you lose your balance, you lean against the wall. And walking on the heels is important because when you do this, you need stabilization of your knees. You need proprioception. You need good strength of your knees. You need good strength of the muscles and tendons around your ankles. So this is an excellent exercise for you to do. You can do this once a day and do for a couple of minutes walking on your heels. I prepared a handout with a summary of all of these 20 exercises. To download the free handout, go to my website www.drfurland.com slash knee. Now I'll tell you seven situations that you may have knee pain, but you should avoid doing these loss exercises. Do not start these loss exercises for the knee osteoarthritis if you have one of these seven conditions. You had a knee replacement or surgery in the past six months. In that case, follow what your surgeon recommends you to do. Two, if your knee is acutely swollen and red, there might be some inflammatory process going on. You need to check with your doctor to see if there is no ligament or meniscus injury, or if this is not gout or rheumatoid arthritis. Three, if your knee pain is associated with movements of the hips and spine, maybe your knee pain is referred pain from a nerve compression in the spine or from arthritis in the hip. Four, if you're having below knee swelling, which could be due to a deep vein thrombosis, seek immediate care if you have chest pain or shortness of breath. Five, if you have a tumor or cancer around the knee area. Six, if you're having fever or malaise, the knee pain can be a sign of a systemic infection. Seven, if you have pain in all the joints of your body, like hands, wrists, ankles, and feet. This could be an inflammatory arthritis and you need to see a rheumatologist. Now, send this video to someone that needs to hear this. There is a share button here. Here are another videos from my channel that you can watch. See you next time. Goodbye.